Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are looking at all of the announcements made today by the Meatly Games, Joe Drew Studios, Mike Mood, everyone from the Kindly Beast, and everyone involved in Bendy and the Ink Machine. Now, we have been promised some major announcements today about the series, I believe. I don't know what they're going to be exactly, but the first one we're going to look at is actually a new, brand new cartoon uh, that's come out of Joe Drew Studios. I'm guessing this one is also animated by Time the Hobo. Go and check her out on Twitter. She actually makes all the animations that you see in inside the Bendy and Meat Machine games and she's a very talented animator so if you are interested in the Bendy cartoons make sure you give her a follow and check out her other work as well. And with that said guys we are going to be watching this now I'm going to be doing a reaction type video to it and the rest of this video will be made up of the rest of the news that comes out today and my reactions to it so it's going to be pretty, probably be like a, a bit of a weird one I'm going to be recording it throughout the day as we get the announcements and then editing it all together and making a nice little video for you guys so you can have my opinion on things. I also want to shout out the Meatly Mike Mood at Bookpast. They all showed up in my stream earlier and it was a real honour to have those guys from the, the actual team behind the game show up. It kind of made me feel a bit nervous while I was streaming but it was like a real honour. So if they, you guys are watching this video, thank you very much for showing up and supporting the stream. It was amazing and it was a real honour for me and I honestly didn't expect it so thank you very much. With that said guys let's dive into this video now. We can see it here on the Joey Drew page and it says Tasty Trio Troubles. Uh, Bendy and Tasty Trio Troubles. Remember go and follow the Joey Drew Studios page on YouTube. They're trying to uh, build up a following on that. So just go check it out if you're not already aware of it. I will link in the description below. Let's check out this cartoon. Ooh, I like the music. Oh, here they are, the Witcher Gang. And there's Ben Dima background, just minding his own business. They look like wise guys, don't they? Like the Three Stooges or something. Are they hungry? Oh, they haven't got any... They haven't got any money. They need help. There you go, help wanted. Just just when they needed some help, they get to have a job. Help found. Aww. So are they working in a bar now? Ooh, money, don't steal. No, naughty. Oh look, it's like SpongeBob, it's like the Krusty Krab. Cooking up some burgers. He's just uh, cleaning up. And there's Bendy. Oh, okay. But one in the middle looks free. Was that the one in the middle free? He ever said five cents? It's a pretty good deal, though. Back in the old days, it was pretty cheap to buy stuff, wasn't it? Okay, so what's he making? A burger? Yay, we got a burger, there we go, okay. <laughs> I like how we're doing this without any, like, voice acting. It's just all visual, like the, the classics. Oh, and Boris gets it, as always. He always gets the upper hand, doesn't he, Boris? And now Bendy's in a spot of bother. You better run, Bendy, go. You'll get your revenge, don't you worry, when you transform. That was a really cool one. That was actually quite a long cartoon as well. Okay guys, well that was the new cartoon from Joey Drew Studios, Bendy and Tasty Trio, and it was actually quite a long one. These cartoons generally, they run about 30 to 40 seconds or so, from what I remember at least, and that one was about two and a half minutes, so it's a lot longer than usual, it had a lot more to it, and it must have taken a lot longer to animate. So remember, obviously, go and subscribe to Joey Drew Studios' channel, go and check out Time at Hobo, the animator behind it and show them all some love. Now I actually really enjoyed that, it was very charming and cute. We can only, uh, you know, s sort of await what happens next in the day. Uh, you'll probably all know about what happens next in the day by the time you watch this video, but for me, I've just recorded the first section of my video for today. I'm now gonna go back to waiting and seeing what happens with the rest of the news that comes out. Okay guys, we're back for some more news. It's a bit later in the day now, and we've had an announcement from The Kindly Beast. Now on their Twitter page, it says, howdy, and it says, something new from the creators of Bendy. 
it says stay tuned to this channel for an announcement of the title so i don't know if this is an announcement like video showing what the game is i haven't watched it yet but we're going to dive in it's going to experience the reaction in real time to this video this is one of the things i'm most excited about the project that follows on from bendy by the same team under the new name the kindly beast which is their new studio name i'm very excited to see what they do next so let's check out the video right now okay here we go guys oh it's very 80s i like it Very VHS style. Ooh, what is it? From the creators of Bendy. This is sinister. It looks like a puppet or something. Okay. It's like a cowboy or something. 2019! It's coming out this year! There we go guys, well that's what I actually predicted in my video, if you remember guys, earlier, like a, maybe like a week ago or something, I made a video and I said, I think their next project will be a small title, probably out in 2019, and I think this is what it's going to be, I think it's going to be a small indie title, by the look of it, something that can release after... Uh, Bendy and Meat Machine to see what that team can do while working together on a new game from day one And I'm very excited for this game because from that sort of trailer we got a very 80s vibe We had, um, I'm gonna go back a little bit and show you guys As you can see we've got this character coming in here It looks a bit like Woody from Toy Story or something Like a sort of puppet, sort of cowboy puppet type thing doesn't it? Like a marionette or something I don't know how we're combining 80s sort of kind of I don't know, it's almost synthwave style aesthetic with these puppets. It looks like it's going for the retro vibe, which I really love that kind of style, very much into that kind of aesthetic. And if they merge that with a horror game, it definitely looks like a horror game. This is going to be, I don't know, something creepy and something exciting. But we can definitely tell from like the music and the sound and like just the general atmosphere that they're going for another horror game. Obviously it makes me happy because I'm a horror channel, so the fact that it's going to be a horror game or seems to be, really merges with what my channel's all about. And hopefully you guys will join me for the journey on this new game. I mean, it is a new game from Bendy and that team is very talented, so I'm sure it's going to be great. But keep a close eye on this. I don't know if they're releasing any more information about this game today, guys. But whatever happens, guys, that is the announcement for something new from the creators of Bendy by The Kindly Beast. I hope you've enjoyed my brief trailer breakdown. All I get from that trailer is it's going for the retro vibe, the 80s aesthetic, and it's going to feature something about scary puppets by the look of it. That's all I can tell. Probably going to involve that scythe as well for what we've got to play with in uh, Bendy and Meet in Chapter 5. With that said, let's jump ahead to the next piece of news. Okay guys, we are back for possibly the final announcement of the day, it seems likely, because they've just put up, uh, the Meatly's just sort of shouted out on Twitter that there's a new video. He says, a message from the desk of Joey Drew. Well, actually, it's from the official Bendy and the Ink Machine account, uh, which you can follow on Twitter, and it links to the YouTube page. So we're going to watch this final announcement together. I don't know what it's going to be. It's obviously going to be something Bendy related, but let's take a look right now. Okay, guys, here we go. Joey Drew, February 10th, 1931, from the Joey Drew archive. Ooh, a it really good looking tape recorder. Can make it so. And my friends, it has. 1931 is going to be an amazing year at Joey Drew Studios. Okay. We're growing, knocking out a few walls, putting in a few desks, and collecting the finest talent money can buy. Okay. Nothing is too good for my studio family. So what can you expect in the coming months? Well, I can't say much. Just too many secrets being cooked up. They're so making new stuff, but hiring new people by the sound of it. Big things are big coming. Are coming. There you go. Things. More bendy, I'm reckoning. That's what Joey G's all about, right? Studios, we're going to bring dreams to life. Nice. Bendy will return. There you go, guys. They're making more bendy games. There you have it, it looks like they're hiring more people for Joey Drew Studios, making more Bendy games. That was awesome. Do you know what was really cool? Just seeing that tape recorder and seeing how much of an upgrade visually that was from the... It's kind of like a sneak peek at what the next Bendy game will look like almost. You know how the old tape recorders looked? You can see from that tape recorder there that like, it's actually all animated and modelled in full 3D. It's got like, just way more like detail to it. And you can just tell the visuals of their next game is going to be incredible. They've teased that other game today as well. And I just can't wait to see what the studio does next, guys. I really love this studio's games. 
not just because of the games they make and the art style that their games have, which is really cool, but just because they seem like such a genuine bunch of people and just like, they just seem so awesome. So like that was a, I think that was probably the last announcement of the day. I'm not sure if there's something else, I'll, I'll add it to the end of the video. But if this is the last, last announcement for today, it means we're getting more Bendy games. They're hiring more people for Joey Drew to make it possible to make uh, a lot more in terms of uh, games in general and it's just exciting you know it, we, it means that Bendy's not going to end uh, with Bendy and the Ink Machine and that's something that I think we're all happy about right so yeah we've got a new game from the Kindly Beast this year and more Bendy to come in the future uh, who knows when that'll be but either way guys this has been a great day for announcements it's been Bendy's uh, second anniversary and you guys came to watch my stream earlier perhaps you can tell I was quite excited about it all um, but yeah, I'm, I want to thank you guys for being on the channel while I've been covering Bendy for the last two years as well. It means a lot to me that you stuck around and new people are joining all the time, which is really cool. And yeah, to the team, if they're listening to this video, if they're watching at all, well done guys and keep making those great games because we'll all play them and, and uh, yeah, share our stuff online. So yeah, thank you guys for watching today. That's been the Bendy second anniversary news coverage video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, remember to drop a like, leave me a comment down below and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and I will see you guys on the next one.